Hi, welcome back to my channel, and in this video I'm going to talk about 10 artists that have influenced me in music. I'm going to start with John Patitucci. He is a jazz bass player who is most known for using six string electric bass and four string upright bass. He's played with numerous artist, but he's most known for working with a uh, jazz musician named Chick Corea. And then the next artist I'm going to talk about is Jocko Pastores, or just Jocko as he's sometimes referred to. He's a jazz bass player. He was in the band Weather Report, but he also played bass for Joni Mitchell on some of her songs. Um, and he did some other stuff. Steve Vai. Um, he was in David Lee Roth's band after David Lee Roth left Van Halen, uh, and then he had a, he still does have a really good solo career. He's famous for his solo album, Passion and Warfare, which is a really good album. And more recently, he put out a single with um, Joe Satriani. Hailstorm is a really good band, fronted by Lizzie Hale, who is soon to be um, doing some lead vocal stuff for the band Skid Row. Ingve Malmsteen, um, he's a neoclassical electric guitar player. He was uh, in a uh, he was in a band before he started going solo. I think the band was called Alcatraz, or I could be thinking of a different guitar player. But then at some point, whatever band it was he was in, he went solo and is most famous for his first album, Rising Force, and his song Black Star is one of his most popular songs, and also Heaven Tonight, um, The Beatles, uh, they are famous for lots of albums in the 1960s, but they also have made movies like Help, A Hard Day's Night, um, Twist and Shout is one of their, is, is a song they covered, um, and then I saw her standing there as a song Lennon and McCartney wrote. There's also a, uh, Hey Jude, um, Let It Be, Yellow Submarine, which Ringo Starr sings on, a whole bunch of songs. I think they did over 200 songs. They've influenced a lot of people. The Scorpions. Um, their music is really, really good. Um, but the two songs by them that I think have had the biggest impact on me are Rocky Like a Hurricane and Winds of Change. Rush. They're a three-piece band from Canada and uh, songs that I really like by them are YYZ, Tom Sawyer, um, Free Will, um, Red Barchetta. They have a whole bunch of songs and albums I really like. And lastly, um, the Christian heavy metal band Striper. Um, their album, In God We Trust, is probably my favorite album of the ones they've done. I also like some of their more recent albums too. Um, so those are, I believe, ten artists. I'll, I'll double check that and see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I left one out. I for, did forget one. Um, well, I shouldn't have forgotten it. Uh, the one band that's influenced me the most. Mr. Big. Um, they've done nine studio albums so far. Their tenth studio album comes out in a month or two. They've done a bunch of live albums. They've done, I think, two greatest hits albums. Um, every member of the band has either done solo stuff or done stuff with other bands. Um, they're an awesome band. I got to see them live for the third time earlier this year and got to meet 
the members of Mr. Big for the second time. Um, they're an awesome group. Uh, there are other bands that have had an impact on uh, why I want to play music. There's Bon Jovi, uh, Skid Row, which I mentioned earlier, Metallica, Megadeth, um, Pantera, Dimebag Daryl's guitar playing, and the sound of his guitar sounded really good. Um, I liked Nirvana. They had a really um, good guitar sound. Um, and their songs were really interesting. Um, Pearl Jam had some good songs. Um, Green Day. So there's, there's a whole bunch of um, that. And then there's other music that's influenced me too, like um, John Williams, who does all the music for Star Wars. That classical music he does is part of what got me into listening to stuff like Rachmaninoff, Bach, Mozart, and stuff like that. And then John Patitucci and Jocko got me into listening to jazz. So I like bands like Weather Report, Yellow Jackets, um, Spyro Gyra. And then, you know, there's, there's blues players I really like, like Eric Clapton, Stevie Ray Vaughan, B.B. King. Buddy Guy. Uh, and then there's like, you know, other uh, stuff that like my parents had records of when I was growing up, like, um, or stuff I'd listen to on the radio when I'd be in the car with my mom or dad and um, some of that stuff I really like. Like there was a band called The Turtles and The Hollies and, uh, and then like on American Bandstand, sometimes they'd have all different kinds of um, pop acts on there that were interesting to listen to. And then of course, being Gen X growing up in the 80s, you can't help but you know hear things like Madonna, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson's Thriller album is really good. The, the song Beat It, the guitar parts on there are, um, sound really awesome. Eddie Van Halen's solo on that is probably my favorite Eddie Van Halen solo. And then bands like Queen, um, ABBA, I like ABBA and some of the disco songs that were really good. Um, some folk songs like uh, This Land Is Our Land, um, or even, even, you know, like patriotic songs that have been written are really good too. So that's... That's what I can think of, you know, as far as um, artists that have influenced me with music. Um, maybe uh, someday I'll do videos where I go more in depth with each artist and like what songs really stood out to me or what guitar parts or what bass parts. Um, or even just do a list of my favorite albums of all time. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and if you enjoyed my videos, please share them. Uh, I hope everybody's having a wonderful week on my other channel. Uh, every day this week, I'm posting a short video about how my week is going. And then on Friday or Saturday on my main channel, I am my uh, book channel, which is my main channel, I'm going to um, hopefully do a live stream either Friday or Saturday. So uh, if you want to watch that, I will, when the time comes, I will try to put a link to it on this channel so that way people will be able to um, watch it and leave comments. The reason I'm doing the live stream and the videos every day this week on the other channel is this sometime this week is my birthday and I just thought it would be fun to um, just share a little bit of what's going on with me this week and and then with the live stream uh, hopefully we can all have a really cool conversation about books and uh, music so I hope everybody have, has great weather where they're at and they're having a good week I will see you in the next video